the Custom. rear. Custom. Harry, what are these Callaway Epic Flash custom drivers? You're zoomed in, aren't you? Yeah. So I've been kind enough to give Harry a um, voucher I won at YouTube Golf Day. I'm going to say thank you for playing so well that day and uh, getting the team score up. No, okay. That looks pretty sick. Oh mate, that looks so good. I had no idea you could do all of this. How do you take the thing off? The the, the screen thing off? Oh yeah. I saw some like some pretty outlandish ones on TV, so I thought I'd just invent my own. I call it the reverse elbow interlocking baseball right hand grip. So far, based on my result for open qualifying, <laughs> it's been quite well. Just takes a little bit of right hand out of it. That camera's already so wonky. <sighs> what do I film like on the side? I don't know. Every time you do a video, it's just like. What no, about that? Harry, keep it level. All right. <laughs> on that note, welcome to episode 19 of the Follow the Journey series. A video which I've been really looking forward to. Maybe stop that. Huh? I was talking, I was doing an intro, and again, it's straight to the clubs. We're not just trying to plug Callaway in these videos. Like, obviously, I'm an ambassador, and Travis Matthew, and Ojo, and all that are for the entire family. And if you want to click the link, then they'll all be down below in the description. But the main point of this video is to talk about open qualifying. What did he shoot? 85. Why did your score say 83? Basically. Do you know what my dad said? What? He goes, on the plus side, Harry was the only person who finished Eagle Birdie. Yeah, I didn't finish Eagle Birdie, I, fin I finished Par Birdie. I went to the scorer's, sc scores. Went to the scorer's office, I sit down, and I'm like, great, 85, Harry. Brilliant, you've done a great job. You shot 79 last year. You've done loads of practice, played multiple golf courses, and your career's come along nicely with YouTube, and your six shots works off for it all. Anyway, scorer's office, walk in. I checked my markers with the guy who marked my scorecard. I'm like, yeah, 4-4, four, 4-4, four, 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 fucking whatever. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What do you mean, 4-4-4-4? Four, 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 four? Anyway, uh, what was it? 4, no, sorry, 5, 5, 4, 5, 3, 7, 7, 4, 7. <laughs> And then like bogey double. Anyway, she's checked all the score. She's added that up like three times, and I'm like, yeah, brilliant. So it's 83. I'm like no, it's no, it's 85. She adds it all up again. I check the scores again. So 83, I make it. I'm like, no, it was definitely 85. I'm fuming at this point already because I've just had an absolute disaster of a day. And she's like, well, I make it 83, so that's fine. And she, do you know what she said to me? Do you know what she said? Well played. No, she says it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> <laughs> At that point, I literally just said, like, I'm with a I'm the child like this, and I'm like, thanks for a well organised event. Members were brilliant. Mate, the they're, they're probably the best members I've come across, I'd say. They're well, really the proud. The members at Minchinhampton are like, yeah. the sound is very. F Where's my head cover? You know when you go somewhere there's normally like a like a click. Yep. There's none of that there. Like everybody gets along really, really well. On the practice day, I went. No, sorry. On the official round, I just went to get some fruit, and I couldn't pay card for fruit, and I don't really carry cash generally. Yeah. And this member bought me an apple and a banana. I also a member helped me put a tire on. Do you remember when I? Yeah, my I uh, had a bit of an incident. I came back, was it after the practice round? Yeah, I came back from the practice round and my wheel was flat to the ground. So a member had to help me put the safety tyre on my car. Yeah, at least you had a spare tyre. All my wheels came off on the main round, so. <laughs> <laughs>
So me and Harry just got up to East Devon, a bit of roll reversal. Harry is filming for me. Time away from golf. Do you need it? Not really. No, I should probably be the one taking time away from golf. When I say time away from golf, I mean this evening. So the real reason Harry's here is to keep my head on whilst I talk about open qualifying. Sum up open Q in a few sentences. <laughs> Three triples and a double. The rest I, only, of the... I only got to see one of the triples, so I was a bit disappointed about To be that. fair, I literally don't know how I played the last five holes, I think it was five holes, in one under, because every tee shot was next fairway left. Led to some very destructive scores, and now I'm not thinking about that. I'm wiping it from my memory. Moving onwards. Like it bounced on the tier and then bounced to the back. Yeah, it was a good shot. So I'm experimenting with a slightly weaker grip with the left hand. Have you been listening to the trolls? No, um, Ollie and James have been in front of me for a while. So. Stop the ones. <laughs> hey, which ones does it stop? <laughs> you thought that. You're gonna say stop the ones that go left. No, So I just want to go back to enjoying golf again for the minute. Um, and I need to be going out there and shooting under par around my home courses basically, which is now in Dayton, which I'm using as a base. And obviously my main place here is East Devon Golf Club. So I'm just going to keep on playing as much golf as I possibly can and improve, but just focus on YouTube for the minute and actually build that up. And then hopefully further down the line when I start shooting under par consistently, um, I'll go out there and start playing competitively again so I can build up my money and then when my game's in shape, I actually go out there and start playing. Harry Flower. For an eagle. Three foot. Second shot wasn't recorded off. Cheers, Harry. Right lip. Yeah. Right half. Yeah. Left lip. Here it comes, here it comes, oh my goodness! So here we have Tiger, just left of 16. This would be an up and down for the ages, playing off the slope. That's about right, oh my goodness. Oh wow! It's an absolutely fantastic job of recreating. It's literally f night time now. Now you probably wondered why I've changed hat and shirt. We're actually out here taking some photos. Um, I think it's time, Harry. 
time to go night vision. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days, that's so strange. How weird is that? Do you think it'll pick up a ball? Dunno, try it. How far from up here? 157. Wedge? Yeah, it's not a big one. Really? Nah, it's such a big drop. Zoomed or? I can, I can barely see the ball. Ninety, how far? Ninety five. Ninety five. Oh, that's good. Where is it? Just a little long, nice strike though. Thanks for filming, Harry. Thank you all for coming out to watch. And uh, I didn't think you could look any creepier, but oh, night, mate, night, vision night vision has makes you look that, creepy. Has like, yeah, you won't be allowed within. Yeah. Thank you all for coming out to watch. Remember to subscribe. Remember to. <laughs> mate, no one is gonna. <laughs> no one is gonna. Subscribe. Does it look really creepy? You look creepier than usual. Yeah. Okay. Remember to like the video <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already <laughs> leave your comments down below we have literally just walked off the green about what five seconds ago <laughs> we've almost got trent if you're committed enough you can make any story I once convinced a woman that I was Kevin Costner, and it worked because I believed it.